Hello guys, welcome to our part 2. On this part, we will be configuring our open source firewall, PFSense. So on our network layout, PFSense will be our open source firewall. On your end, you can use any firewall, any device firewall on your network. On this demo, I'll be using an open source firewall using PFSense behind my virtual machine doing the NAT, network address translation. So all port forwarding and network security on the perimeter will be handled by PFSense for my anti-spam and Zimbra on my virtual infrastructure. PFSense is available to download on pfsense.org. Just select your architecture. Usually, uh, we are using now 64-bit ISO image and for the mirror, select Singapore and download. So let's select download. On my part, I already downloaded. So I'll just create the VM for the PFSense. Select machine new on your virtual box. Type the name. Then select the uh, storage destination of the VM. Then PFSense is based on BSD, pre-BSD for the distro, 64-bit. I'll be using 2 gig for this open source firewall. Then for the this, it's 20 gig. Great. We need to edit the network settings on the network. A firewall usually has two network cards, one for public and one for internal network. On this part, we will be using my PLDT ISP as a bridge mode. Then the other one is the host internal network. So based on our network layout, so we'll be creating internal network for our virtual machine. So we'll also edit the Simbra later on to connect to RPF Sense. Then for the storage, let's select the installer. Let me grab my installer. I'll just extract the ISO. The one that I downloaded. Okay. Okay, then let's start RP Absence. Just need to get the MAC address for our public and for the internal. So 49 for the public and for the internal network is F6. Up. Then in the GUI, so we'll be installing the absence so select install. Then just continue the, with the default key map for the keyboard. Then we'll be using the default file system, the UFS for BSD. 
So it's very basic for the PFSense installation. After the installation is completed, you will receive a prompt. The installation is now finished. Select yes. Then exit to reboot the VM. Upon reboot, just accept the license agreement. Sorry, I need to disable the ISO on the pan boot up to boot on our hard drive, which already done on the installation part. I'll now remove the ISO installer because I'm done installing the PFSense and start to boot on our open source firewall. Now, um, our PFSense is completed and it's already boot up. So on my public one, it's already detected my internal network, which is uh, double NAT to my PLDT 131. So our, on our LAN, we'll be using 172.16.0.0.24 for internal network for our virtual infrastructure. So on your production network, it will be on your design based on your network. So I'll just assign assign or set the interface IP address for my PFSense. So LAN. So for my layout is 16.0.1 for my gateway. Then for my subnet is slash 24, so 254 IP addresses available on my internal network. Just hit enter. You want to enable the HCP? If you want to enable the HCP for your workstation, just yes. On my demo, I'll be using only two server, which will be using static IP addresses. Take note that if you're configuring a mail server or any server, you need to set a static IP address for it. So I completed the setup 17.0.1. So I'll be using that as a gateway for my mail server now that I'm done configuring the PFSense gateway we need to set the Simbra base network to internal network and let's start our Simbra base OS Sorry, need to remove the installer. On 
our part 3, we'll be doing the install of the Simbra and hardening. So let's log in to our base OS. So let's check the detected network interface on our server. So my virtual interface is CNP0S3. So I'll configure a static IP address on my CentOS. So based on my layout, the static IP address should be 11. Escape, escape I to enable editing on the... So the boot proto should be static. IPv6 will not be using that. So no, the name of the interface, the UID, which the detected in network interface on boot should be yes then IP address the static IP address that you assign for your mail server the netmask slash 24 and the gateway which is the pfSense so let's save this and restart our network then we need to disable Our firewall as host firewall as we'll be using the pfSense our perimeter firewall but later on we'll be enabling IP tables for our security let's try to ping our pfSense gateway you can able to reach our pfSense so I'll just add a DNS Just add the public DNS first as we have not configured. Let's try to ping public address. There, we already have a public access using the NAT device of PFSense, but it's not yet completed. We need to configure PFSense for the security and the uh, port forwarding for our mail server later so let's start to do the yum update on our operating system for our mail server